Hey everyone, this is Revan from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 282. Two officers from Los Angeles were fired for ignoring a robbery call to play Pokemon Go. This incident dates back to 2017 where Luis Lozano and Eric Michel were on patrol duty. And in car recording revealed the men had heard the call for help but ignored it. The decision to fire the officers was upheld by the California Court of Appeal by today. Vodafone Idea still owes roughly around rupees 50000 crore to the government. Bharti Airtel needs to pay rupees 25976 crore to the center. The government will now have over 35.8% stake in Vodafone Idea. Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 2021 launched at a price of rupees 17999. This device will be available on Amazon, Flipkart, Samsung eStore and offline stores starting from January 17. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 gets an Unisoc T618 processor, a 10.5-inch TFT display and comes with a 7400 mAh battery. The Realme 9i launched in Vietnam earlier this week. This handset will be the first in the Realme 9 series to launch in India. The key specifications include a 50 megapixel rear camera, Snapdragon 680 processor and a 33 watt fast charging support. Realme released the 8 Pro smartphones in India which has a quite popular. The brand is reportedly working on the next generation of this numbered series dubbed as the Realme 9 Pro series. The Realme 9 Pro series lineup will have a 6.43 inch AMOLED display with the thin bezels. The rear panel of the device reveals a triple camera setup which is in line with the camera module design revealed by the early render leaks. The sketch also reveals that the main camera on the device will be having a customized Sony sensor. Sony will continue to produce roughly 1 million units of PS4 in 2022 to offset the pressure on PS5 supply. PS5 is expected to be hard to find as the company is working on fixing the supply shortage. With expanded PS4 availability, Sony expects to add and keep more players in the PlayStation ecosystem. Moto Tab G70 launch date is set for January 18th. The upcoming Motorola tablet is set to debut in the Indian market during the Flipkart Big Saving Day sale. Motorola had previously revealed the key specifications of the Moto Tab G70 including the processor and the display resolution. This tablet will be available in both Wi-Fi as well as a Wi-Fi Plus cellular variants. This tablet will feature a thick bezel around the 11 inch display. To talk about the specifications once again, it will feature a 12 nanometer octa core MediaTek Helio G90 T processor and it paired with a 4 GB of RAM and a 64 GB of storage. This tablet will run on Android 11 OS and this tablet will pack a 7700 mAh battery with a support for 20 watt fast charging over USB Type C. Moto G Stylus 2022 render shows a punch hole cutout, triple cameras and a side mounted fingerprint sensor. The Moto G Stylus 2022 will be sold in gold and black color options. The key specifications include a 6.58 inch display, Snapdragon 480 plus processor and a 50 megapixel camera. Instagram is working on a change that will allow people to edit their profile grid. Deleting or archiving images is currently the only way to get them out of the profile grid. Brands and influencers are often very careful to make sure their profile grid matches their aesthetic and this feature will be a huge improvement for them. Flipkart is bringing big sale in the new year. Flipkart has announced that it is going to organize Flipkart Big Savings Day sale. It is coming out in this sale that during this year you are going to get great discount and big offers in the sale. The sale is going to continue from January 17 to January 22. Samsung Semiconductor was supposed to unveil the Exynos 2200 today. The launch has been postponed and the original tweet that pinpointed the January 11th date has been deleted from the company's official Twitter account. The Indian smart wearable and audio accessories brand Bot has been recently unveiled multiple products including Bot Rockers 333 Pro and Bot Watch Iris at the Adobe 601 AccuNoise True Wireless Earphone. Now a new True Wireless Earphone by the brand has been dubbed as Bot Adobe 181 has been listed on Amazon with all its specifications and feature. The earbud comes with a 10 mm driver setup carrying Bot signature tuning that is sure to please bass lovers. The earbuds use Bluetooth 5.2 for connectivity and offers playback up to 20 hours on a single charge with the charging case other features include the instant wake and pair touch controls ipx4 water rating google assistant and siri support and it comes with an usb type c charging port
The IQ9 and IQ9 Pro arrived earlier this month in China. These are the first Vivo devices with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset and consumers surprisingly cleared the first batch in 10 seconds. According to IQ, income from sales exceeded over 100 million Chinese yuan that is approximately 15.7 million US dollars which means around 20,000 phones were pushed during the flash event. Poco M3 was launched in the February 2021 in India. The latest update is a stable beta release available for limited users. It comes with a features like focused algorithms, liquid storage, atomized memory, shift performance and many other features. And users will have to wait for a week or two to get their hands on the global release of MIUI 12.5 on Poco M3. Users can check for the update manually settings on the software update. Krafton has announced a post that 17,543 accounts on BGMI has been banned for using illegal activities in the 6 days time frame from December 27 to January 2nd. It has also published the list of cheaters Krafton bans players if they have downloaded the BGMI game from an unofficial channel or have illegal auxiliary program on their device. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.